All right, so this is a video on how to use your Garmin computer for diving. So this button right here is like the um, like activation button, so you can press it to use different activities. So it starts off with single gas, multi-gas, CCR, all different types of diving gauge, apnea if you're free diving, apnea hunt. And then if you're an athlete or anything like that, you can use triathlon, all sorts of cool different things. But primarily most people are gonna be using single gas. That's just normal scuba diving. So when you click on it, or you can use, you can press this button here, or you can use the uh, touch screen capabilities. When you first press on it, it gives you some different options. It's basically letting you know what's geared up on the computer right now. So your bottom gas, which is the gas that's gonna be on your back, that's more of a technical diving term, but for standard recreational diving, bottom gas is the gas that you're breathing on your back. MOD has to do with nitrox. How deep can you dive with that particular gas? And with air, we have a maximum depth of 185 feet. Um, the con conservation or cons how conservative it is, um, it's currently set to high. And then it's saying that you're gonna be diving in salt water. So the um, if you wanna go past that page, you can click this button again or you can swipe it. It's gonna give you just some more information saying your surface interval is never seen the water. so. There is no surface interval. And then you have it set for your safety stop at three minutes. Press it again, and now you're in the dive mode. Over here, we have our ascent rate. Right here, it says TTS. That means total time to surface. So how long it's gonna take you to get back up to the surface in an emergency safely. So if we're in 30 feet of water, it'll take us one minute to get up to the surface. If we're at 66 feet of water, it'll take us two minutes, 99 feet, three minutes, and it'll just tell you right there. We have our NDL or a no decompression limit right here. How long can we dive at this particular depth until we run into a decompression obligation? Up here we have our maximum depth that we've hit and here we have our temperature. Now, if we scroll down, uh, I might not have a touch screen for this option. If we scroll down, it'll give us our compass on that top screen right there. Scroll down again, it'll give us our heart rate and battery life. See what happens if you scroll down again. Next up, cool. And that's pretty much all the information that you need, unless you have a transmitter set up. Now we have different settings. So you have our gas. I don't know if you're a nitrox diver, but you can change it. Instead of diving air, you can dive nitrox or try a mix or whatever you're certified to. Trying to do this with one hand is complicated. Scroll down. Sometimes you can um, use the up button right here, but there's a lockout option as well. All right, you can set a heading, which is this button right here. You can change it, you can set a reciprocal. You can do um, 90 degree turns. So like if you're doing a, a square, or you can clear it. Let's see. All right, so that's pretty much everything in single gas. This is currently not set up for a transmitter, I don't believe. That's why we're not getting any any air. All right, more information. So if you go back to where you have your different activities, single gas, multi-gas, all that stuff, if you select it, it goes into that um, screen right there, but if you press up, it'll give you some more options. So you can go through your gases for nitrox. Look at your air integration. So you can add a, add a transmitter if it's not automatically added. And then it'll give you um, your conservatism. So you can change that if you want, but I would just leave it as it is. Uh, the more you know about diving science and stuff like that, you can, you can change it, but Unless you, unless you have a good understanding of what these numbers mean, just leave it as it is. And then you can change the, the water type as well. Your, your partial pressure of oxygen alerts, scuba alerts, display settings. You can change how the screen looks too. So if we had it on big numbers before, but now we have it off. So when we go diving with it, it'll look a little different and it'll give you a little bit more information. On the left, that's a nitrogen graph, and that's your ascent rate over there. Larger compass, 
And this is just gonna give you a lot more information on your screen. Same thing, you can set your heading. Nothing on that screen that's different. Nope, cool. So that's pretty much everything from the, from the diving aspect. When you hit the water, if you forget to turn it on, it'll show up just like this. So it'll have all your important information. If you have air integration connected, it'll already be there.